Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping in. Today's video is not gonna be a normal day in the life of the print farm. Uh, after about over 100 hours of printing on the Centauri Carbon, I now feel pretty comfortable to do a straight up comparison showdown video between the Centauri Carbon from Elegoo and the A1 combo, or mainly the A1 from Bamboo Labs. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a complete head-to-head -head showdown of the two printers, printing three different models, all the same settings, all the same filament, to see the differences between the two printers and which one would be better for your setup and what you're trying to do in the world of 3D printing. All right, so to do this test, I have picked three models that we're gonna print on each of the printers. The first one is just a functional print in place tool. Uh, the second one is gonna be an extreme torture test for both printers. And then the third one is going to be a pretty big organic model that has a lot of small fine details. So I picked those three models, I found them online. I think they're gonna give us a good variety and a good mixture of what each printer can handle and which one handles certain things better than the other or vice versa. So I'm excited to get these sliced up in Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer and then get them sent to the printers. All right. Got the wrench going down. 45 minutes of total time taken on the A1. Compared to the 32 minutes taken on the CC. So we'll come back to these when they're done. Give you guys some B-roll of them printing. And then we'll compare the two. All right, so the A1 wrench still has about five minutes left while the CC just finished up. Fully finished print in place wrench with the Elegoo Rapid Pet G. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool, wait for the A1 to finish up and then take them both off the plate and compare. All right, the A1 finished up. Let's take it off the plate, compare them. All right, all print in place supports are off and these are the finished wrenches, so. Not gonna tell you which one is which just yet. All I'm going to say though is this one has been giving me an issue with the actual mechanism getting to its full ex extent. I don't know what could be the tolerances, but other than that, it came out very, very nice. There's some patching issues here, but that's the first one. Here is the second one. Mechanism works great. You get the gist of it. So, this is the A1. This is the Centauri Carbon. So, you can tell by the back plate used with the SuperTac. And then the textured finish, the Centauri. The Centauri is the one that was giving me less of an issue with the tolerances, I guess, on this to allow it to move. But I think the finish, hmm, let's see. I think the finer details of the Centauri Carbon one, this one, are better. It's hard to tell. They're very close. This is me being very nitpicky, but by the functionality of it, I would have to go with the Centauri Carbon, just the fact that the wheel mechanism moves, but... Both very good. I mean, this is pretty flexible, pretty flexible, but that's just the filament. I use the same exact filament. It looks smoother on the handle on the Centauri Carbon. You could see a little bit of, you could see it there. Yeah, so I, I would have to give it to the Centauri Carbon for this one, even though I think aesthetically they both look very, very good. The Centauri probably has the edge in the two categories I was talking about and just the way it looks and also the functionality of it. But I mean, man, very, very close. So let's get the other model printed and let's see the differences in those.
All right, our torture tests finished up. A little bit smaller than I would have liked, but got the job done. Okay, so this is the A1. Obviously, just to remind everyone, if you've never seen one of these, this is really to push the limits of your printer. So test the overhang capabilities. Obviously, I had some issues at the top here. When uh, I was watching it print, it was basically dragging this around as it was printing. So I could have adjusted the top Z distance, and I think that would have helped. But overall, great job default settings on the A1 printer. So now we have the Centauri Carbon. So right off the bat, the surface finish is way nicer on this one. I noticed that off the right from the rip. Also, the accuracy on this, while not great, is definitely noticeably better than the A1, or at least more consistent. So, one thing I don't know if is better was the overhang. Let's see if I can get that to focus maybe a little bit. There we go. The overhangs, you can see, just, I don't know if that's a cooling issue or what, but, I mean, obviously, this is really impressive. That's at a... Very, very steep angle. Everything else looks looks great as well. The bridging down below looks very consistent. And again, very, very impressed with these. Uh, I, I would have to say this one goes to the Centauri Carbon as well, just because of the two noticeable difference and improvements on this one and that one. Um, but I'm curious to see if you guys notice anything in the difference between the two and what you notice as well that I might be missing. So... Really like it, and we have the next model printing as we speak to see how that turns out on both. All right, so we have our finished third models on both printers. Here we have the A1 version. Both came out very, very great. And to be honest with you, it was really hard to tell the difference between the two of them. But when we get to looking at the top, that's when I think a lot of the differences shine. So this looks great from the A1. There just seems to be a little bit of, I don't know truly what this is. I don't know if this is a cooling issue, but it almost looks blotchy. But then you look over here. And it looks much, much smoother. Almost like the, the filament is bonding a little bit better. I don't know why. But it looks much, much better. But that's me being extremely, extremely nitpicky with the results. I would sell both of these. I think they would be both viable options to be able to sell. And the quality is honestly indistinguishable at some points. If you handed me, if you handed people both of these, and asked them to dif uh, differentiate between what printers this came off of, I don't think they'd be able to give you an answer, unless they looked at the top and maybe made a different, uh, like a judgment call based on that. But even then, both of these are really, really, really nice. But with that being said, I think some of these things that we're talking about, and this is this could also be an accuracy thing with the Core X Y. It has a little bit more accuracy to play with with the way that the belts are used in the printing process. With the bed slingers on the A1, it, it takes away a little bit more of, I guess, the accuracy due to the movement of the belts and the more variables in play. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the showdown between the Elegoo Centauri Carbon and the Bamboo Lab A1. The print quality, honestly, I don't think is going to be the ter determining factor for whether or not you should get this printer. The print quality is not, listen, there are some minor differences, but it's not enough to justify getting one over the other. I think what it comes down to truly is going to come down to what situation you are in. Do you need a printer right now? If so, go with the bamboo. It's going to be a little bit more money, but they're readily available. If you need a Centauri Carbon, you probably have to wait a few months. They're shipping order early. Uh, and their batches for pre-order to the U.S. specifically are shipping or, uh, early. So you might be waiting a little bit less than what is advertised on the website. 
but you're not going to get it as soon as you can get an A1. I do think it also depends on what you're planning on printing. For a while, the A1s were fine for me because I was printing in PLA and PETG and not really anything that required any ventilation or enclosure. Now I'm venturing more into the carbon fiber, the ABS, the ASA, and it kind of needs that type of environment to be able to print consistently and at a high level and in a way that's not harmful to me. So moving on to this was kind of the game changer. If these were available back when I was going and buying the A1s, would I have gotten them? Maybe. Depends. I think I rely a little bit too much on multicolor printing at this point. But if this had a multi-material unit out, which it's coming out hopefully soon, Q3 like Elgu said, I think this would be a game changer, especially considering the price. $299 really can't beat it for an enclosed Core XY printer that lives up to the hype. I've printed for over 125 hours on this thing. It's handled everything I've thrown at it and then more, and it's impressed me constantly. So what more can be said about a good, high-quality 3D printer under $300? As more pre-orders for the Centauri Carbon start getting shipped out to more people and more content creators, I think we're going to start seeing way more success stories than we are seeing failure stories. Because when something comes out, you don't really have a lot of people posting about the, the good things you know you hear good stories but it's more so people coming out of the woodwork for the bad things so i'm really excited i'm also very lucky that i did not get a lemon and it is a functioning device and i've been able to use it but i think the real test is going to be in the next couple months and once the multi-material unit releases and it can do multicolor, multi-material printing and it is a true competitor to the a1 combo and the a1 mini combos that will do it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the showdown between the two printers. And if you have any questions or there's anything I didn't cover or you want to know about both printers, leave it down below in the comments. If you want to see any type of content like this or me try to print anything different, let me know. And I'm always down for more feedback. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you again.